viewers and viewers, my name is John Red Strategist and welcome back to To The Moon. This is part five. So, you remember, we're steadily making our way back now through Johnny's memories. We're in the sort of earlier half of his life, or at least, you know, in the last episode we basically got over the halfway point, essentially is what I'm trying to say. Now we're in this area, this rather interesting location, mm, and it seems we're basically... Oh god, for some reason... Um, not responding to the controls. Oh, that's why, because it's, it's freaking arrow keys to move, isn't it? <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was, uh, pressing uh, WASD again, like a fool. Okay, who's this person? Nobody. There's got to be something around we can interact with, right? Come on, Watts. Look to Watts, old lad. It's like these weird ghost people around. It's very peculiar. Wondering what the deal is around here. Is there anything we can examine? A uh, thingy thanger. <laughs> that was a fantastic description there. No mind what I'm saying. Who's this person? Nobody. Hmm. A lot of people sat around. Talk to Johnny over here if we can. No. He's not having any of it. Well, there's got to be something around to look at, hasn't there? So there's more of these kind of figures just knocking around. Or upwards. Let's just check up here before we go anywhere else. Are we getting... Ooh. It's puzzle water. Okay, it's narrow up here. This is where we need to go. Oh, the lighthouse. Hello. Oh, we got um, a little uh, thingy bobber orb there. Now, we can't talk to that person, nor that person. Can we go in the lighthouse? Requires two bars of memory links. The memory links, that's the term for them. It's been a few days since my last recording session. Mine's a bit rusty. So we just need to find the memory links, then. So if we head back down... I mean, I doubt they'll be too far. Oh, hang on, there's a pair of jar of pickled olives there. That's pickled olives. I see you, Le Fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. There we go. That's another one. So we can, we can technically now proceed. An aged animorph spoke. That's got to be another one. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay. I thought it would be. Who knows? Okay. Down this way. Is there anything? Or oh, that might actually be the end of the map. Okay, never mind. Well, we can go into the lighthouse at least at this stage. Which should work. There'll probably be plenty of memory links in there. Then it's just a matter of finding the old thingy bobber that enables us to jump back even further. This is the case with this game. What about this there? Yes, we're in. I think. Or... Are these guys going to say something? No. Hmm. I need to drink up my tea. Ah, there we are. Drunk up. Do, do you feel any different? That was the voice I gave him last episode, wasn't it? Or in episode 3? Now that we've got the rings on, I mean. So you're married? No. Irish girl. Why do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? I don't know. I say, I say, I say. I do say indeed. Would you like to name her Anya? You preggers. Hmm, is that what's going on here? I understand. How joyous. Yeah. Anya's a good name for her. Her voice has probably changed again, but having said that, you know, we, he's getting younger as these memories go along, so of course his voice is going to change, you know. I've got an excuse for it. Hey, come with me. Yeah. You're in your wedding dress. Is that a wedding dress? No, it's a bit colourful to be a wedding dress. Wedding dresses are usually just plain white, aren't they? Indeed. Right, so go. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> wow, 
Wow, is it a romantic scene up at the top there? This can't be a good idea, you feckin' bastard. I'll probably trip and fall. So don't worry, just follow me steps. Oh, you're dancing. Oh no, you're not. Yes, well, it's a romantic scene, okay? Hush your jibber jabber, everybody. There's feelings afoot. Oh, and there they go. <laughs> oh wow, that just killed the mood, John. Jesus. Oh, my ass! <laughs> yeah. Not the right words to say in a moment like this. I think you stepped on me toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. Is it Lighthouse? <laughs> I mean, I suppose it's not the most romantic location. But uh, it'll do, in the absence of anything else, I guess. I suppose it's got a nice view, though. Out towards the sunrise, coming over the waves. God, I'm getting gas from my tea coming up my throat. Yep. Yeah. Hello, hello. Wedding time. That's what we're seeing here. So it is a wedding dress, even though it is quite colourful. Now, I'm guessing this is the um, priest who's speaking here. To promise true love and comfort. To honour and to keep in sickness and in health. For as long as you shall live here. What would you do if that was your uh, priest at the wedding and his voice was like that? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be a lawfully wedded husband? So he starts off dignified, but he gets weird as he goes on. To promise to love and comfort, to honour and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. So basically that voice is a fusion of ones. Hail Mary, yes you fucking bastard. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. He just uh, went a bit weird at the same then. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wilds. Oh, how lovely. And there's all the guests down there, all six of them. <laughs> Plus two more. <laughs> Ugh, the wedding. Oh uh, yeah, what do you think? Oh wait, wrong voice. Oh uh, yeah, what do you think that was? That's the same as the priest. <laughs> I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. By fluids, I mean both fluids and solids. Still trying to hide it. What? That's a lovely image, thanks, Neil. I'll treasure that for eternity. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Oof. Okay. Sheesh, whatever happened to you, just take it moment by moment. Yay! That's a third one. Now we just need to find Priesty. What's going on? What about you two? Hmm? What about you two all gits? Alright, we want us to go down, do you? Oh god, we're just drifting through the guests. We're supposed to be our ghosts, aren't we? Uh, we go down here. Well, there's tables might be around. From the outdoor buffet, or whatever it was. Yeah, see, down here. Look at this. Ugh. I say. Right, um... These are new characters, aren't they? Oh, I'd better see how your aunt is doing. <laughs> Alright, Ma, tell her things... Okay, he's an old woman, so that's actually quite a good voice. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Who do you mean, Johnny? <laughs> You're senile. Nicholas. Did we have Nicholas before? What was Nicholas's voice? Shit, I've completely forgotten. Um, maybe I should just give him a uh, new voice. Hmm, let me think this through. Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Well, he calls, it me, calls me by it now. It's my nickname, nickname, name, name. Well, how come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ugh, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What? Oh, wrong voice. What do you have against those, anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Received note, Joey. And another memory link. You got anything else you want to say? I can't get through there because there's invisible people. Um, I'll go down this way. Grandmother. Um, that's half an hour of Joey. That's the wrong voice completely. I completely. I've already forgotten what voice I gave her. So I was getting so distracted by my own commentary. That's the excuse I use. 
cake, wedding cake? Does the does is the wedding cake? Oh, there's pickled olives up there. You people uh, have anything else you want to say? Hmm? Go in here? No. Oi, you. Old man, who's actually young in this memory. So, young man. There's no need to feel down and all that. <laughs> so, I was almost going to go uh, all YMCA village people on you just then. Okay, we need to go down this way for that one remaining memory link. Go through. Oh. Oh, we're getting the weird whoop de whoop noises. There's all the cars. Who uh, seriously brings a van to a wedding? <laughs> hmm. Oh, they're down here. Oh, God, I'm phasing through the van. There, 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 there. Hello. Go here. You can't be out, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Somebody run over an animal. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Oh. Yes, that's what I was just thinking. I think this is the source of all those folded paper ones. Or is she obsessed over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. <laughs> okay, there we go. So maybe this is the uh, memento. Thought so, yeah. Received note, dead rabbit. Let's have a look at these notes. Notes, we need Joey and the dead rabbit. Yep, uh, right. Joey's, uh, Johnny's nickname, named after his grandfather. Where is my dead rabbit? Yeah, there it is. A roadkill on Johnny and River's wedding day. Deary me. Okay. Destroy the glass case. Boom. Right. See how well I can do this one. It's a little folding paper puzzle. Ideal is three, of course. Right. Let me think this... Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. It's been a bitch again for some reason. The mouse being a bit weird. Right. Uh, if I flip these ones... Hmm. Let me think this through. Yes, 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 I've got it. That was pretty easy, that one, I have to say. There we go. See, when they're nice and simple like that, I get them no problem. But, uh, most of the time, I screw it up. You know it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. <laughs> wow. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. <laughs> Cool story, Neil. Off we go. So this links back to a previous memory. <laughs> there goes the truck. <laughs> oh dear. That's how it links, is it? Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. She wasn't actually looking at you, but never mind. It smells like a farm. And road kill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Right, time to control. Let's have a look at the road kill. No, we can't. Okay. Never mind. These fences alongside of the Whoa! Jesus. That was a bit scary. Hello, what's with the horse? We are we gonna ride the horse? He's got a saddle and everything. Whoa! Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what? Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. <laughs> what was that animation? Sure. Off he goes. Good wasting time, Neil. Oh crap. That can't be good. He's out of control. Now he's on backwards, apparently. <laughs> don't, just, don't just stand there. Help me. Damn it, this was not in the job description. <laughs> Received note, Dr. Neil Watts, apparently. Let's have a look at this. Where's me, Dr. Neil Watts note? <laughs> Village idiot, that's all it says. Of course. Absolutely. What a prick, seriously. God, what an, what an idiot. Who just jumps on a horse? Especially when you're not actually technically even in this time period. You're just here in a memory and all that. God. Oh, hello. What's where have you got to? Well, they're up here. Looks like they're about to go riding. Oh, here we go. There we go. Got another memory link. Is that really a good idea? Uh, is this... Oh, right. This is the uh, sort of 
image person, a shadow person, well, not light, light person, that's a better word. <laughs> she struggled for a bit there. That's the sort of light person talking. So this one's a sort of um, horsekeeper, equestrian teacher or something. She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine, you feckin' bastard. Stop treating me like a child. I'm not a child, you bastard. Hey, there she goes. Ah, ah. River? Uh-oh, she's gonna go off a cliff. <laughs> no. Hey, there she comes. Now, nah, going off a cliff would be too dark for this game. What's the matter? Let's go. She just goes through her. Hey, wait up, he says. I wonder if he'll got off that horse yet. <laughs> yeah, of course he didn't. Ava! What a freaking plunker. This is about 90% more than I can handle. What a moron. Wow, we're going to get on a horse as well, are we? Better go save his butt. Oh, wow. We're actually uh, riding horses now, it seems. Neil, where the hell did you go? Space to gallop. Whoa, we can go faster. Neil, where are you? Oh, there you are. There, I'm stuck on a rock. Neil, where'd you get to? Hey, I got a memory link. Come here, <laughs> you bastard. God, he's like going crazy up there. Oi, oi, hey, oi. Hey. Neil, Neil. Well, this is certainly unexpected. This is, got him. Wow, he just went flying. <laughs> Probably just hit the head, uh, hit, his, hit, the, uh, hit his head on the ground, cracked his neck. Good job, Ava, Rosaline. Oh, thanks. Ow. Hey, I found something here. What did you find, buddy? De stuck. Oh, I've got another two memory links, apparently. Where have you gone? Dude, you just went flying. Wow. Wow, you went far. Yeah, this memento will do. You'll have to line it up carefully with that horse, though. Don't look at me, I'm not getting on that beast again. Let's never speak of what just happened again. Okay. Jesus. Go, horsey! Batter down that thing. Boom. What even is it? Not sure what it is, but okay. Ooh. Ideal is four, apparently, for this one. Hmm. Allow me to think this one through. Now I'm wondering. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder if it's possible to maybe get all the pieces down the middle vertical uh, or blanked out, and then do it in one fell swoop. Just get all of them, perhaps. Uh, let me think this through. I was thinking, sorry, sorry, sorry. Or maybe... Uh, see, once it gets complex like this, I'm fucking rubbish. And I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, or maybe... Get all of them blanked out like that. And then... Hmm. Get those like that. Then... This is not really working. I'm going to be way above the friggin... <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. Now, hold up a second here. Hmm. I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. What you need to do is just... Mm, get that one. Ah, there we go. Got it. I'm over. Okay, it's a bag. It's a handbag. I see. Like a pouch for doing something with a horse. Horse feed pouch? I have no idea. I didn't know, lads and lasses. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm slowly making our way back. What's going on here? Are we in a doctor's surgery? Oh, yes, of course we are. Who's the diagnosis certain? Dr. Lee. What uh, voice should I give this guy? There's so many characters who are just, you know, random little background characters who only appear once or twice. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we've reached a consensus on the results. Oh, in Scottish he is. That's what he is, Dr. Lee. He's a Scotsman. Is it a he? Or is it a woman? It might be a woman, actually. Okay, unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. 
How'd you know him when you were a child, miss? He could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? I mean, to be honest, the Scottish and Irish accent of mine are actually pretty fucking similar, aren't they? <laughs> the only difference with the Scottish one is that I predicate every sentence with Och hi. Och hi, this one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. Yeah, he's not a Scottish accent. Och hi, you can borrow it free of charge for now, just don't alope with it. There we go, that's a bit more Scottish. Thanks, Doc. Och hi now, are you two a couple? I married him without any other current legal affiliation. Thanks for prying into our legal private affairs, you feckin' bigot. <laughs> Keep adding weird syllables to that. Oh, hi, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialised counsellor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Oh, hi, nonetheless, sir. You should read it. You should also give the book a read. It'll help you understand their condition. I'd rather not. That's the wrong voice completely. Why is that? Again, it's, it's blending between Scottish and Irish here. Oh, hi, what's well, your call? You wee bastard. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. That's now going scouts almost. Jesus Christ. Okay, fuck it, scouts are then. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Phil loves the Scouse accent. My friend Phil. He loves it so much. Told you so. Okay, time for... Uh, oh, wow, got that one quickly. What's this? Oh, Jesus. Did we just jump up on the counter? Okay, well, the clock is the thing, apparently. Wow, that's uh, incredible, isn't it? <laughs> Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? Ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. Uh, Alright, oh this is the uh, person behind the counter we can't actually see. Uh, no problem. It's a standard policy. If there's anything or it makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. That's a voice and a half that I just produced. Damn. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you. Oh, I guess that explains the ones in the house. Received note clock ticking. Two things. Let's have a look at clock ticking. Oh, there's me clock ticking. Something River can't stand, apparently. Interesting. Oh, that's another one. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Be calling for you soon, lad. We can go get you checked out. Find out what's wrong with you. You're a bit weird, aren't you? you? Oh, there's the bag. Right, that's the link then. Yeah, hello. Um, I've got three. Can I go out? Maybe I need to go into the doctor's surgery again. Is that possible? Can it be done? It can be done indeed. Hello. Receive note Tony Atwood. Okay. Let's have a look at Tony Atwood then. Uh, there he is. Author of a series of books on River's condition. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Doctor. Who's the doctor? Hmm. You're a doctor. But you're not the, the doctor. That's a bit of a reference. Plain Tony handbag. There we go. So I just got four of them. We got ourselves full of things. What else? Ah, oh, platypus. It's right there. Stuffed toy platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. <laughs> what a lovely guy you are, Watts, sometimes. Such an idiot. Okay. Take her down the clock. The next boss. The evil clock. Prepare the clock for travel through a mi Ooh. Ooh, I say. Well, obviously we could probably do, yeah, a kind of straight flush fl at fl the end. Um, unless we sort of... Hold on, let me think this through. Hmm. Current uh, ideal is four, apparently. If I switch all those like that... Hmm. Ho hum. And like so. Aha! Oh, there we go, everybody. Solved it. See, I'm so clever. I'm so smart. I so smart, everybody. Go activate the memento. And backwards in time. Oh. Is this a lecture hall or something? Damn. <laughs> 
always convenient uh, places where we sort of phase in. Best look. I know. I can't believe he wants to pay to see this crap in theatre. Oh no, it's a theatre. It's a theatre. Thought it was a lecture hall. No, you idiot. Look, we leaked. Well, have you gone back too early or something? Oh yeah, that's quite a leap there. Oh, they overcooked macaroni. The kid's in the theatre all by himself. What a loser. You go to the theatre by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. Well, that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? Damn, what? What a lovely guy you are. Hello, hello. He's looking around. Closes his eyes, opens his eyes, jumps up, starts wandering off. Come back here, kid. What are you doing? Hmm? Okay. Gone through there, apparently. And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. QED. Does that stand for something? QED? I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm not worldly wise enough. I spend too much time indoors to know what that means. <laughs> oh dear, self-roasting here. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Okay. Well, I think it's time to wrap this episode up here. So, we'll put this in file three, I think. There we go. So, I hope you all enjoyed that, everyone. Episode five of To the Moon with me, a general red strategist. We are getting further and further back. Johnny is now a very young person, at least in these memories. So, yes. Hope you join me then for part six, which I'll probably get recording straight away after this one. Because I'm on a nice big recording session at the moment. So if you're not doing so already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links in the video description as always. And if you're also interested in seeing me react to slash what slash review anime kind of content, that sort of thing, go check out my second channel, General Red Propagandist. That's up to you though, of course, you know, if you're into that kind of thing, like I say. But that, thank you everybody, and in the meantime, this is me signing off. Goodbye all. Uh. Ah! What the f What the fuck? Oh, what? What the? I hear movement. Why is there movement? Nothing happened. What the fuck? Jesus Christ! I just reloaded the game in and then all shit just went down. Why? Who am I here? Oh! Why are you here? Oh my fucking god! Jesus Christ! That scared the shit out of me. Why did that happen? Holy fuck, that scared the absolute shit out of me.